What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king. Welcome back to more Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, we began our little adventure to search for our sister Tutti, who has been kidnapped by the evil witch Gruntilda for her beauty for some reason. I, it's weird. I don't know. Is she like eight? It scares me. Anyway, we are now encountering something new at the start of this episode, which is a note door. Now, this was already mentioned by Bottles once, but this is what the purpose of notes is. In Banjo Tooie, it was to unlock moves. In this game. It is to un open up the note doors to then proceed to deeper parts of Gruntilda's lair. So, we have 100, which is more than enough to get through here. Why you would not get 100 in every single level you go to, I could never tell you. But in we go. And now we're going to be able to head off into the next area. That door was easy you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. I don't know about that one, Gruntilda. So, we only need two more jiggies to then unlock Treasure Trove Cove. So, let's do that. Oh, and... Why would you remove pieces? I Bottles, I would never do that. We're just going to put them in. There we go. And there we go. We have unlocked the second world, Treasure Trove Cove. Now, this is probably the world that I have the most fond memories of. I just... I mean, it mainly down to its aesthetic and whatnot. It just... It, you know, it looks cool. It's got it's got a nice it's got a nice pleasing atmosphere to it, and it's also just one that I remember playing around in a lot. But I'm gonna head in here really quickly because you've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same color to create a shortcut. So yeah, you get a little bit of a warp around the castle if you ever need it around the lair, I suppose. So I wanted to show that his name is Dingpot, I believe. I also wanted to make sure we grab that mumbo token. Any extra mumbo tokens you can grab is always a good thing. But it is time now to head up to Treasure Trove Cove, and I actually have to remember where that is at, because I can't do anything with that yet. Um, Kazooie's Shock Jump Disc. So I think he, we unlock that in the next world. So let's head on up here. And if I'm not mistaken, our access to Treasure Trove Cove is in here somewhere else. So we don't want to go through the sewer. We want to go down here. So let's make sure we head over here. And yep, so see where the sand starts to begin? This is our clue that Treasure Trove Cove is beyond this door. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there is like a thing up here that we can grab. Um, it actually might only be on the other side, though, for now. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're eventually going to be able to get something over on that side. There's some feathers over there, too. We'll talk about those later. Also, I love how Grunty just like says, she just talks crap to you. Like, the whole time you're walking throughout the lair. It's really funny. But she doesn't do it while you're in the levels, so I guess that's good. It's, it doesn't get annoying. All right. So, welcome to Treasure Trove Cove, everybody. We're going to be grabbing a bunch of stuff right off the bat. I did not mean to skip those notes, but oh well. Ah! Oh, gosh. It's Snacker the Shark. That's okay, though. I'm willing to take that hit just so I can get this Jinjo here. Luckily, he only takes off one honeycomb piece with each and every single hit. Um, that's Snacker. Yeah, every single time you jump in the water in this level, he is going to harass you. There is actually a way to quote-unquote kill him, um, but I think he still comes back every single time you do it anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Now, like I said, levels get a lot bigger starting now, so we're going to be talking about all of the... Uh, all of the changes they're going to come in here. We got a crab. We, we have to ground pound these guys to instantly kill them. But they give us two honeycomb pieces, which is really nice. I think you can also roll into them to flip them over and then ground pound them, which you might find easier. I don't really know. All right. Let's go get ourselves a jiggy, though, uh, after I kill this guy. Get out of here. All right. So this, I believe his name is Nipper, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, well, I didn't mean to skip the dialogue. I need to stop pressing B when I do that. Okay, what the way that this works is very simple. Uh, he's just going to basically try to claw at you, and every single time he's done clawing, he's going to open his claws apart. That gives you a window of attack. Run up and do the A, B move like that, and then you can take him out. Perfect. He almost got me the third time because the window was really short, but we should be good. So into the shell we go. And I actually love this little area. There's some notes in here. This game is so good with atmosphere, man. I mean, a lot of that is Grant Kirkhope's uh, compositions, for sure. Like, that's a big part of it. Excuse me. Um, I am a little cramped in here, isn't it? Holy crap, that was a two-for-one. I will take it. Um, but yeah, really good with compositions, obviously. Grant Kirkhope really knows what the hell he's doing when it comes to soundtracks. Still does. This man's a freaking legend, but I feel like this Banjo-Kazooie and Tui were definitely some of his best work. Although... For all of my problems with Donkey Kong 64, I actually think that that's my favorite soundtrack of his. Uh, it's just, I don't know, there's something about the vibes to that one that's just, oh, it's so wonderful. 
Like, the overworld theme in that game just gives me, like, it makes me almost want to cry nostalgia tears. I love it so much. All right, so we are now in the upper areas level. I'm kind of just going around grabbing things. I'm not really, like, going after one thing in particular right now. Um, this is going to probably be the case, again, with a lot of the levels that I do, just because, again, I'm not, like, I don't have, like, a set path. I'm not, like, super, like, oh, yeah, this is exactly how I remember going through these levels every single time. I know my way around this one in particular, but I'm also, like, not about to be, like, oh, yeah, this is, you know, I know these, like, the back of my hand. I don't. I don't. And I'm not like, oh, this is the perfect path to go on every single time. Especially when everything is like, oh my gosh, why is it so finicky? Because it's so easy to fall off these leaves here, man. Why can't there just be one big model on the top that's like easy to stand on? Instead of me having to jump from leaf to leaf. All right, let's talk to bottles here. And we're about to get the shock spring pad unlocked. You reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, then press and hold A. And by press and hold A, he literally means press it and hold it all the way until you jump. Like so. So we're going to want to just kind of stand on this, jump all the way up, and boom, mumbo token. All right, so now we're going to use this to get around these platforms here. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can try to jump in place and then just make the gap here, but then you're going to need to probably float down. The other alternative, and I'll show it after I grab these notes is to do it like this. Jump all the way down, and then you can actually make the jump back up by, uh, or on the rebound, basically. So if I want to, and that was probably not the one to go for, so I'm glad I changed course there. Not super after feathers at the moment, so I'm just gonna go for the Jinjo, but for this part right here, I do have to make it all the way up here. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, we're gonna take you out, and then let's go after each of these notes as I very carefully grab every single one of them. I said before that Kazooie is more precise and, uh, when using the Talon Trot, and that is true, but I mostly meant uh, when it comes to like turning on a dime because Banjo is a little bit more slippery. That said, when you're trying to like move slowly around, Banjo is still the play, and I find myself doing that a lot in this game, so it is going to happen uh, from time to time. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just skipping that pad. Made it perfectly. All right. There is our first Jiggy of the level. We'll happily take that. And like I said before, I am going after 100% of the Jiggies this time. I'm going to do it. Even though I have never done it before, that is the plan. For this particular series, we are going to go after absolutely every single Jiggy. And I will not be stopped under any circumstances if I have to refer to a guide. Oh, well, but it's going to freaking happen. Oh, yeah, that's right. Whenever you're going downwards on slopes, though, with Talon Trot, sometimes that happens. G uh, Kazooie will just kind of do this little hop based on the momentum that she's being kind of thrown with. And you can actually jump right over things by doing that, which can get a little annoying. Okay, let's grab that. And then, oh, my gosh, am I always going to fall on the left? Hello? Uh, Banjo? There we go. I was going to say, am I always going to fall while trying to get on the last leaf on these trees every single freaking time? I'm sure some people are watching this going, oh, this is going to be a long Let's Play. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. I, like I said, I, again, this is not the game that I'm most familiar with. Give me time. I'll get better. All right. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last. It better be easy. What, what did she say? Bogies? Anyway, flying is really easy. All you're going to do is hold A on a pad, and then Kuzui will fly up. You can continue to ascend by pressing A, um, which is, I mean, it's, pr it's pretty suck with flying We're going to hold A. She'll fly up like this. And A is going to allow you to ascend, but it also uses a feather. Um, if you ever need to land, you can always just kind of point yourself downwards, or you can use the ground pound, although that is a much quicker descent, and if you do that from too high up, you'll probably kill yourself, so keep in mind, keep that in mind. If you're like right here, then it's acceptable. So we're going to use the flying here a few times in the game, but for right now, I'm going to grab that. Um, let's actually use the flying right away, and we're going to go after a couple of things here. So first things first... There is these treasure chests here. Be careful you don't land, you don't hit their teeth. Whoa, like so. Oh, I got it. There we go. We got it. Cool. So there is a jiggy in there, even though I love that the game does not know how to handle that. Now, the teeth are what damage you, unfortunately, on those. So keep that in mind. It's a little risky. Okay, we're going to take that shell out. You need, you need to use the jump and poke attack to get that. Um, I want to use the fly one more time, though here really quickly. There's actually a couple jiggies we get with the fly 
uh, ability. I, I think actually like four of them, but I'm gonna head now to the right alcove instead of the left one. I love how there's just a single note here, just like taunting me. Like what, you expected more? Trying to taunt my note, my note nest idea from the last episode, or my, the, what I just think is a better bit of design from the second game than in this one, but whatever. All right, well, I don't even know why I'm bothering to grab those. I don't need freaking eggs right now. Let's take you out. I am pretty sure I'm full on health at the moment anyway, so I don't think there's anything in the trees I need to grab. We have the shock spring pad unlocked, so it's okay to just proceed. So let's do that, and we're going to want to make our way up here. There's a couple ways you can make your way up this thing. That's the way I have chosen, and then we're going to want to break our way through that with ZB. Let me get a mumbo token for our troubles. Now, I don't think there's actually a mumbo transformation in this level, so... That is some. That is kind of nice. You're just kind of collecting mumbo tokens for free. Go at the top of the lighthouse. There we go. Got a jigsaw. All right. So there are two ways to descend from this area. We can either go back down the way we came very, very carefully, which um, I also want to make sure I hit that. This is going to unlock more things out in the overworld. So there is another jiggy for us to go collect over in the area right by the chest. But also, um, yeah, there's two ways to descend. One, if you can actually pinpoint where the water is, and I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything up here. I almost did. There is, in fact, some notes and a Jinjo, so I'm glad I checked before I jumped off into absolute, just terrifying nothingness below me. Rip, give me that Jinjo. Okay. So you can jump all the way down if you want to. Um, if you're going to jump where there is land, though, you're probably going to die because you, uh, Kazooie cannot hold the flap all the way down. But if you jump to where there's water, that's going to be safe, but then you have to deal with snackers. So we're just going to go the safe way. Um, and I would rather not deal with snacker, even though I am about to jump into the water a little bit. I'll at least have a way out of it here in a second. So there's snacker. He appears. I'm going to get up on this box if I can. And actually, this is how you're going to hurt Snacker, is by dropping eggs on him like so. So let me see if I can do it again. Where is he? Is he coming my way? Oh, he disappeared too soon. Let, let, me, let me see if I can draw him in. I want to see if I can actually hurt him. Oh, that was the wrong angle. No. Oh, come on. I know I can do this. I know this is doable. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, get up. Get. Oh, my gosh. Snacker, get get back here, dude. I'm going to get him. See if I can like lure him in a little bit. There we go. Did I hit him with any of those? Dude, I suck at this. Come on. I know this is possible. Why are you coming at me from that angle, bro? You're not very good at this. Come on. Here, I'm going to try to like unstick you. Dude, he is stuck. Like like you would oh there he goes oh gosh okay yeah i am definitely uh playing with fire here too much i want to see if i can get him though oh there's a mumbo token over here though that i do need okay well he's making his way over this way maybe i can get him from here on the box he's probably going to disappear before he gets here though dang it where is he now oh there he is go quick 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 there we go now get him what the, the freaking angle, man? <laughs> Jeez, I know this is possible. I really want to get him. This is like my whole goal now. Oh, you can't get him when he's fading out, though. I feel like I'm wasting eggs doing this. And I probably am. There we go. Oh, my gosh. I finally got him. And does he not come back? I don't think he does. I think maybe we got him. Maybe we're just rid of him. That's kind of what I wanted was just to freaking kill him. And then we can now go through the water without having to deal with them. He might respawn at some point. I don't actually remember if he does. I don't think enemies in this game generally respawn, though. I think that was only a 2 thing, which I do appreciate that the enemies don't respawn in this game. I think that's a nice design choice, honestly. So I am using Talent Try here, not because I need to to get up these ladders, but just because if you ever get caught on the ledges where the notes are positioned, uh, that's a good way to accidentally slide down. So it is better to do that. Also, two mumbo tokens. That just seems like excessive. There you go. Yeah, make sure you do that jump. If you try to jump out normally as Banjo, you're just going to take a hit there. Um, there's also these guys. Um, they're going to follow me around if I get in the water. But I think I can go directly below them. Is there a thing down here? There is. There's a jig. There. Okay, that's what I thought. Well, the good thing is, is that when you grab uh, a jigsaw underwater, the game doesn't, like, stop and make Banjo celebrate while he's freaking asphyxiating down there. Now we got eight lives, which is good. Now, I'm pretty sure the lives 
don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure the lives actually re uh, reset whenever you turn the game back on again. So that's not going to carry over. That's just going to be for this play session, unfortunately. It, it's just something that you just you can enjoy for now, but it's eventually it's just going to go away. So, um, okay, there's a few more things I need to do around here that I'm aware of. Okay, I can shock pad up those, but I'm not going to bother. Um, is there anything at the bottom of your pool, dude? I know there's the feathers, but is there anything else in the center? I th oh, there's a mumbo token. I definitely want that. Yeah, they can't sink down, so that's good. But if you're up on the surface, that's when they're going to actually like chase you around. And they are uh, stereotypical mines, so they will try to explode. You can also do that, I think, to... Well, if you can actually... If I can get him like close. Let's see if I can. Come here, dude. You going to make your way over here? Come on, buddy. I don't think he. Uh, I don't think he can. I think he's just kind of like. Maybe if I do it from like a higher spot. Oh, I got him. I think you can like hit them enough times and make them explode, but it is not worth the number of eggs that it'll re require to blow them up because they're really not that threatening. So, what do you have in you, buddy? Yo, you just have eggs. Uh, I'm not gonna go after those. Like, I know I need eggs because I've been using so many of them, but. I am not going to be getting them through that method. Okay, there was another possible Jiggy, if I remember correctly, over here, speaking of eggs, that I'm going to need to go after. And that is, I think, this guy right here. So let's talk to him. Me leaky. No good for water. Can bear block. Hole with pebble. Uh, sure. Here do the other one. Leaky patched up. Now empty water for bear. Thanks, buddy. Oh, and it blows our mine guy up, too. I will take that. And there we go. All right, so we now have unlocked another area, and we're going to talk about this here in a second. But first, I actually need to get on top of this castle, which I think even if you drain it, there is still a way up there, if I'm not mistaken. Come on. Ooh, actually, is there? I hope I didn't mess this up. Okay, there is still. Whew, good. Because, yeah, I didn't want to have to try to go after that otherwise. want to grab those notes. All right, into the sand castle we go. Now, both Ban uh, Banjo-Tooie had a cheat area in the first level, Mayahem Temple, and in this game, it's actually in the second area. Hey, Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. Now, this is a very, very simple, but all you have to... Uh, a very, very simple. Did I just say those words in order? Sorry. This is a very, very simple puzzle because all you have to do is spread the word... Uh, I can't just... I just can't say words right now. I can't. You just need to spell the word that is right here, which is Banjo-Kazooie. It's very simple. And you know, because every time you hit one, it's going to be like, yep, that's the correct one. So we need to go around and hit all of these letters in order. And I want to say there's only one O, so we're going to have to use that one a few times. Now, where's the K at? There you are. So there's that. Um, I think that was correct. Oh, there's another A. Are there multiple O's then? I don't think so. Oh, there is. Okay. Now, where's that Z at? Perfect. Okay, I, thought, I, I I was really sure that there was exactly just one of each letter, but I guess I was incorrect in that assertion. And there we go. And what I love is that this guy's like, wow, you beat it, and I'm still going to try to kill you. But first, I'll cut you down to size. All right, come here, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so then you ground pound him, and then you... Oh, wait, hold on. Get him. Or you could get hit like I did. Dummy. Here, go over here, and then just ground pound him. There you go. And he only gives me one honeycomb. What a jip. All right. Let's grab ourselves that jiggy. If I can do my... Thank you. Give me that thing. Beautiful. All right. That's another one down. So we've got, what, uh, half of the jiggies in this level done, I believe. I feel like we're doing pretty pretty good so far. Why is that water, like, deep enough that he has to swim in it? I f it looks so shallow. You'd think he'd be able to just walk in it like the water around the out edge of the castle. But whatever. Also, I love Shark Food Island. That's hilarious. I think there's something on this box. Yes, there is. There's a... Oh, Snacker's back. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Well, that's cool. Luckily, I was able to get away from him. Uh, and I, I should not have done that. I should have waited for him to despawn. Oh, well. So, yeah, I guess he does... He respawns every time you come back outside from something. Which, eh, I guess that makes sense. Okay, um, that island right there, it doesn't seem like there's anything going on with it yet, but don't you worry. In due time, it's going to make a little more sense. I mostly just did that to grab a honeycomb piece. We need to 
We need to go a few directions. I'm gonna go this way first. I wanna say, okay, do you have anything interesting in you? I think I jumped late. Oh, I barely made it. There's notes in you. Okay, let's grab that. So we are 12 notes shy of all the notes we need in this level, which is good. I am gonna actually grab these feathers. Um, they're my, oh, well. It's like an actually freaking uh, platform here. So this is what I mean. This is why I'm like not that great at this game because this is where the actual platforming comes into play. And I have to say, I don't love these games controls for platforming. I, it feels like the most infuriating moments in Tui are the moments where the game, oh, that's not fair. Don't spawn in front of me, you jerk. Um, it feels like the most infuriating moments in Tui are the ones where it asks you to be really, really precise. And this game asks you of it, uh, ask it of you so much more often that it's like, I don't know. It's not my favorite. Let's just put it that way. It's not my favorite. All right, what does this treasure chest have? I think I jumped late. No, I didn't. Okay, I got the feathers. There we go. All right. Now, let's head this way. We have a full amount of feathers, so we're probably good. Here's more notes. And the other thing is you can actually jump further with the talent trot too, which is pretty cool. We're only eight notes away from the max amount, which is great for me. Hopefully I can get to those, but now we're gonna start ourselves another puzzle here. So we're gonna ground pound this, and this is going to start a, uh, a little pattern. We're gonna have to follow the clues. So it, the arrow pointed in a certain direction, and we need to look for the next X that marks the spot. And it's way the heck over there. So let's keep going. Now, the, only the first X is going to be there at a time. So you know you're going the right way. Also, I missed that ginger earlier. You know you're going the right way if you see the X because it's not like there's going to be multiple X's spawned at any one time. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. Let's fly over that. Ground pound it. And then on to the next one. And I think they start to get closer and closer together here too as you start to go up past all of them. I love Shark Food Island. I think that's so funny. It's called Shark Food Island because, well, you... It's you're, it's not an island. You're you're dead. You are actually gonna get eaten. Snacker is such a jerk, man. Me and him, we do not vibe. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Not my buddy. All right, there's another one. Although I missed that initial ground pound. And now we want to get all the way to this one where there was a chiggy last time, and also that crab that we shock springed our way to. And if I remember correctly, this is the last one. Ha! You'll never find me now. Well, actually, if you look at this island down here, there is another X, and we're going to want to ground pound it. And doing that, he's going to run around, and he's going to like be like, please open me gently. No, not a chance. You're getting exploded, buddy. And there we go. All right, now I need to go get that orange ginger that I accidentally left all the way back there like a dummy. Can't believe I missed that. And yes, I know I'm deliberately ignoring one that's here in the center area, too. I'll get to it in a second. Don't you worry. It involves that guy right there that I haven't been talking to. Is there actually, like, actually, I don't think there's, like, an easy way for me to get over there from here. I guess I could fly to it. Oh, there's a mumbo token right there. Well, I need to get that, too. There's so many mumbo tokens in this level, which is so funny for a level that doesn't have a transformation. I mean, thanks. Thank you, I guess, but it just seems a little odd. All right, I'm going to see if I can do a little drive-by here and grab this Jinjo without actually landing. Oh, come on. I know I can do this. It's very doable. Screw it. Okay, I landed perfectly. That was amazing. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me that Jiggy. Thank you. I grabbed it. And now the camera's going to be really bad as I celebrate. <laughs> ah, that's funny. All right, cool. So now let's hop on down and oh, right by the explosive guy. Go, go, go. Oh, that was, that could have been bad. That could have been really, really, really bad. All right, cool. Now let's head on over to the pirate ship and let's grab that mumbo token. And then we can talk to this guy here who is also actually in Banjo-Tooie, although in a very, very, very different context uh, than he is here. Oh, hey there, I'm Captain Blubber and I lost me treasure when me ship crash. Well, go find it then, Blubber Guts. Are, but I can't swim. Can you help an old sea hippo? Sure, we'll find it for you. All right, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to ground pound through this and head on inside. I want to say this is where the last of the notes are, too. So let's head in here. And you'll notice that there is actually a couple things in here. So we got some notes, we got some mumbo tokens, yet more. There were so many freaking mumbo tokens in this area. And there is also a piece of treasure. But it is not the only one, it is only half of the treasure. So let's grab that. 
And I love how this thing is just like clang clang every single time it talks. It's like, can you imagine talking like that? Like, I know the rest of them are like beep, 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 or whatever. And it's like, I, I can buy that as a sound, but just the, the metal clanging, like, ow. All right, well, here's your treasure, buddy. There's one. I that be half of me gold. He's still crying. Well, don't worry, because if I hop down here, there is yet another opening, and I don't think Snacker appears on this side of the water, so you don't have to worry about him going after you too much. But it doesn't really matter anyway, because you just hurry in here. We're gonna grab the rest of the hundred notes that we need. And we are gonna grab ourselves the last of the treasure, which is over here. And there we go. And I think that's only gonna leave us with maybe one or two jiggies left in this level, if I'm not mistaken. Can't believe how much freaking progress we've made in this level, though. Oh my goodness. In this, I didn't think I was gonna get this much done in one episode. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, but, you know. Granted, we also had that whole intro to get through in the first episode, so... Still a lot faster progress. Me treasure, thank ye me hearties, take this reward. And there we go! I mean, his gold does look more valuable than our gold, I won't lie. But there we are! Alright, Kazooie, so that is, I want to say, eight jiggies in the level done. No, it's nine! So we're literally missing one. Oh, and we're missing an empty honeycomb piece. Well... Shoot, should we try to see if we can tr track those down before the episode's over? I did not think I was going to be able to get this done this quick, but I can, I mean, I can certainly try. Okay, I think I know where the rest of these things are, and honestly, I think flying to them is going to be the play. Um, I'm going to try to get the jiggy first, because I can at least keep an eye out for it. It's somewhere in the side of the mountain, if I'm not mistaken, the one that I'm missing. I'm just going to stay flying as long as I can, and then we'll just run into it at some point. There's a, there's some platforms I have to go up, if I'm not mistaken, to like get to it. Oh, you know what? It actually might be in the side of this. Oh, 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 okay, hold on. I'm actually gonna do this the legit way, instead of uh, being, uh, being a coward about it. Nope, because I know how to do it. Yep. Sorry, it took me a second to remember how this works. So I actually kind of missed it as I was walking over here, but you remember there is a little walkway over this direction. If we go over here, there is some feathers, and we're going to want to jump on the crates, make sure we don't fall off of them, like so. And then get up here. Let's grab the eggs. Oh, that was not a good... I was no confidence in that jump whatsoever. Let's grab these eggs. I mean, it's it's nice to get some free eggs anyway, I mean, even though I'm missing every other one. And there we go. We got ourselves our last Jiggy level, but now we still need to get the empty honeycomb piece. So that is over by where we fought Nipper. So we'll grab that, and then I think we'll call this an episode. I can't believe how much we freaking got done in this episode. Again, I don't think this is going to be the norm in future levels, but I did not think we'd even be able to do this in the second level, let alone... Well, yeah, I mean, just... That alone is, like, surprising to me. Also, I can get up on this crate, but I don't think I can get up on the other two. So let me try to get to... Well, I fell. Uh... Where is... Oh, there he is. I was like, what the heck? He's not even, like, coming after me, which is really silly, but whatever. I eventually found him. Okay, yeah, this empty honeycomb piece is in a really weird spot. It's like, it's kind of almost a dick move where they put it. It's just like, hey, you know the water, the thing that you should like never be in in this level because, you know, you've constantly got Snacker trying to kill you and almost everything in this level does not involve you actually wanting to go in the water. Well, this last thing actually is in the water. So we're going to grab this empty honeycomb while Snacker tries to kill us. And there we go. And I'm going to get bit because he's going to freaking corner me like a jerk. Get away from me. Get away from me. No, I need to swim faster. Kazooie, we need to swim faster. Swim faster. Swim faster, darn you. Swim faster. Okay, we made it. My goodness. And there we go. We now have absolutely everything in the level. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Thank you all so very much for watching. Wow, that was a camera flip. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.